Hey guys, this is Mango from QuakeFans.net, and today we're going to cover the comic Gone Quake Mod or Full Conversion Standalone Game. If you guys like this kind of content, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Let's find out where Padman came from. Back in 1998, the developer of Pad World was a comic book graphics artist. He created comics for the PlayStation Games Magazine, PSG. This is, I believe, only in Germany? I've never seen this over in America, anyway. Anyways, he wanted to create a more evil hero. So Antti decided that he really liked the guy who designed the Smurfs, an artist named Peyo. And he decided to make an evil Smurf. Not to be confused with Pac-Man. He used the name Gamepad and Batman, which come up with Padman. And making his first appearance, here's Padman. I have no idea what he's talking about. But he's supposed to be the meanest gamer ever. Whatever that means. Apparently he kills Duke Nukem... Uh, other Mario, and it looks like here's one with him killing the Teletubbies. <laughs> I just absolutely love the story of this, how, how this all perspired, because I love comics, and I love Quake, so for whatever reason, the designer of this, of this comics just decided to start making Quake maps. So Auntie learned how to map and he started making pad pad home from the Padman comic. And the maps took off. They started getting all kinds of downloads and stuff like that. And here's a couple pictures of the maps featuring Padman and Quake 3 Arena. Fast forward to the year 2001-2002. The Pad Mod team presents the Pad Mod World mod for Quake 3 arena so now what you might ask well what's going on in the year 2020 with the world of padman the once evil smurf comic book hero is now a full standalone game you don't even need quake 3 to play it so it's a full conversion now full game you can download it for free all you got to do is go to worldofpadman.net so guys, now is the chapter where we get to the gameplay and see if it's any good. I don't know, but whoever made that intro, that was awesome. So if you can't tell by the menu right away, you can tell it's a ID Tech 3 engine game. So this game is now on uh, the IO Quake 3. It's what uses the newer stuff. Yeah. You, you, if you've been on this channel before, you've seen this. So when you're setting up your player, you can choose a wide variety of all the Padman world people that he's created in the game uh, some of these I've seen in the comics some of these I haven't but uh, they're mostly just blue creatures my course is, is my favorites the pirate pad I don't know about you guys but I'm ready for some gameplay footage If 
can't tell right away. Betty is officially the rocket launcher. The pumper is the shotgun, but it's like a mid-range railgun almost. Like, it might be better than the railgun here because it has a slower cooldown. It just doesn't go as far. Like, it doesn't go across the map. It has a limit as far as it can go. So the first mode I played was you had to pick up these colorful cartridges and you had to go into a spray room and spray it to win. Like, it took me forever to figure this out. But that's what you do. You're supposed to collect ink cartridges and you're supposed to go spray in the in the spray room. I don't know. It's called colorful or something. Uh, pretty. Uh, I mean, at least it's a different spin on the, the original death match, you know. But uh, I, I found it okay. It wasn't the best mode in the world, I didn't think. But uh, I mean, it was it was something different. I, I I think it would be fun with people online or friends. After checking out that mode, I decided to try something well, a little bit more traditional. And Pad World has Q3 DM17 in it, except it's called Pad World Q3 DM17. Uh, it's, it's DM-17 with the spin on it. It has all the ramps and it looks like, look the Quake 3 DM-17, but it has a few more ramps, has different things. And, uh, right here I was just playing the free-for-all team mode. <laughs> it's not called Team Deathmatch, it's just called free-for-all team. <laughs> I don't know why he named it that, but okay. And yes, you have a duck as a gauntlet. I believe that's because E-N-T-E -E is supposed to mean duck. I don't know. I can't find any information on it, but I believe that's why there's a duck gauntlet in this game. Uh, I can't confirm that. I can't deny it. I have no idea, but I believe that's why. So after playing the traditional deathmatch mode, it really felt more like an arena FPS game more than uh, the first mode did. Uh... I mean, there's not really much to say about it. The sounds are great. Uh, you can strafe jump. Uh, you can heal in these little bubbles here and there. Uh, it just automatically heals. Like, you don't have to keep picking up health, but uh, you do pick up shield. Like, you don't pick up health. You just go to, like, healing stations. Yeah, you go to healing stations. It's a little weird. So I finally decided to try the map with the actual uh, rail gun on there. It, it's, uh, it's pretty good. I mean, uh, I was able to hit people fairly easy. It's almost one shot, one kill, you know, with nobody got any armor. You pretty much just destroy them. Then I decided to try to see if I could find an online match, but unfortunately I wasn't really able to find one. Uh, I joined a, a bot match that uh, was supposed to be Capture the Flag or Capture the Lollipop. <laughs> if you guys can't tell, this game's very zany and goofy and cartoony. Like Capture the Lollipop, I mean, I, I love all the comic books in this, by the way. Like all the cool uh, change and loading screens, it shows little comic books here and there, but... Yeah, capture the flag on here is called capture the lily. Uh, there was another mode I tried. We'll show it next. Uh, th this mode was called big balloon. It looks like you're supposed to capture certain points, kind of like a domination. I really couldn't figure it out. I couldn't tell if it was actually capturing it or what. Uh, I think in the bottom right hand corner, it shows how many spots you hold. But every time I went to a spot, I didn't really feel like I captured it. I don't know, there wasn't really an no indicator. It, it might have just popped or something. I don't know. It, it didn't feel like it was working right to me. It didn't feel obvious anyway, but maybe it was working right. I have no idea. Well, quick fans, uh, that's that's about it for this episode today. Um, World of Padman, very interesting game. 
I don't think it's bad, but I don't necessarily think it's great. It's somewhere in this, like this cool idea that happened. Like it, the, the idea of this, that this went from a comic to a standalone quake three mod is amazing to me. Uh, I mean, these guys obviously worked real hard. I love the models and stuff in this game. Uh, I think maybe the cartoony stuff's kind of a little off putting. I don't know, but, uh, I, I don't know. I think it's great. It's great in a way, but, uh, I, I don't know what would make it stick out more than just playing an awesome high definition game of quake three. I don't know. But anyway, shout out to all these guys that made this game. I think it's fantastic. Uh, that they that this even happened. This is cool. Padman is a cool, cool hero. That's for sure. Uh, even though some of his comics, I I think they're supposed to be funny. I I don't know, but he he looks cool anyway. Like you can tell he has a Batman uh persona going on. But guys, if you enjoyed this episode and we make more episodes of this covering Quake Three mods, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And uh, go download uh, World of Padman. It's a great, great game to try out. I'm sure it's a lot more fun with people to play with. But uh, until next time, be sure to follow me on Twitter at the Smango. Be sure to hit me up on Twitch, playing all kinds of other games. Twitch.tv forward slash the Smango. You can catch me live playing Quake here on Quake Fans. Blue balloon.